Hey guys, welcome back to another BT News video. Um, today we're going to be discussing Link Light Rail's biggest problem, which is the Rainier Valley Light Rail tracks. Now, most of the light rail is either underground and um, above ground, but um, for a brief time, it's at like surface level. And yeah, I know Stadium and Soto, um, they're also surface level, but they actually have gates and stuff. Well, this one, it's basically just like risk it if you're gonna cross. Like no, like barely any signals. Like they were just installed, but it's just not enough. Like. Here, I'm going to show you guys some later in the video. Because I did do a vlog at a fellow station, and yeah, um, that's one of the ones. Alright, and there's been countless incidents, over like a hundred. And it, um, if you guys saw in that in this clip from Light Rail Incidents, which was the last episode of BT News, here, I'll roll it right now. Look at this. Sixth collision of 2022 historically averages one collision per month with a vehicle or person to service begin mid-2009. That is actually insane. It seems like it's just normal now for someone to die from a light rail train down there. And yeah, today we're going to be reviewing some of the incidents that have happened in the Rainier Valley light rail tracks. And yeah, let's get started. Viewer discretion is advised. There's no gate. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, jeez, oh my gosh, um, they could have stopped, like, look, look at this, like, right here, they could have stopped, like, I don't know, could they, like, I don't know, I've never driven a car before, like, jeez, I think they probably could have stopped, but I don't know, like, it, and, like, if they couldn't have stopped, like, there should be some gates there, cause, like, like, look, look, right here, right here. There's no gates. There's no gates. That's a problem. And right now, we want to go back out to the scene at the breaking news that we brought you earlier at Rainier Beach Link Station. This is a live look here at the spot where a pedestrian was hit by a southbound train. A spokesperson for the Seattle Fire Department says he does not know how this crash happened, only that a 43-year-old man was taken to Harborview in serious condition. Now, according to the Seattle Fire Department, first responders actually had to remove the train skirt and Whoa. lift the front of that train in oh order my to gosh. rescue that man. Well, all these crashes are horrible. Nothing can compare to the July 2021 crash. Take attention to this picture. Look, this guy's running to the train, which, like, that's fine. But this train is right here, and it could leave any minute and hit him because, like, there's no gates so, yeah, that's, like, really unsafe. Alright. Yeah. Um, some context right there, down there. Um, yeah. So, basically, two people were going to a Mariners game, and then they had to cross two pairs of tracks and meeting about five lane street. That is too big for a simple crosswalk. Okay, um... What they should do is they should make some overpasses, or better yet, just redesign the whole Rainier Valley light rail tracks. Like, that's the, that's the best solution, although that would cost a bunch. But yeah, I think it's very worth it. Um, yeah. To, yes, so. And yeah, that's what happened. R.I.P. both of them, and, um, oh my gosh, the worst day in history. Ugh, you gotta fix this. Alright, hmm. Since service be- 136 times? Are you serious? 168. Oh my gosh. Eight people. Eight people, are you serious? Oh, instance in Soto. Okay, fix Soto as well. Look, Sound Transit, I love you, but you really, really need to fix this. Sound Transit, please fix this issue. Thanks for watching.